here's how you can use a dormant oil treatment to control common grapevine pests. Pests like scale insects and grapevine blister mites. I'll show you the whole process, end to end. You'll see a proper before and after, showing you how the grapevine grew the following year. So, on with the cure. This grapevine is infested with scale insects, so it's the perfect candidate for dormant oil treatment. These brown, ball-like structures are the now redundant adult scales. They've got egg residue inside. And on these stems, you can also spot tiny red-brown nymphs of the scale insect. Ants are on the vine too. These ants farm the scale insects for their sweet sugary secretions. So get rid of the scale insects and the ants will go away too. Now we've got the grapevine which needs treatment. So let's talk dormant oil. Dormant oil acts as an insecticide, but unlike conventional insecticides, dormant oil is very low impact, low risk, biodegradable and more nature friendly unless you're a grapevine pest. Dormant oil works by coating any insects and any eggs in a layer of non-breathable oil. This coating destroys the pests. Dormant oil is harmless to plants when you apply it correctly, like I'll show you, but it can scorch fresh new grape leaves. Therefore, as the name suggests, you should only apply dormant oil in the winter. In the UK, we usually apply dormant oil to grapevines in February or March. Treat your grapevines in dry weather before the buds burst. Every gardening manual says don't apply dormant oil if there's any chance of freezing weather in the next couple of days. Before we get to the recipe and method, note that dormant oil can also be used on other fruit trees, such as apples, pears and plums. The oil will help to control a wide range of overwintering pests, such as aphid eggs, thrips, mealybugs and spider mites. You can buy dormant oil in garden centres, or you can make your own dormant oil, which costs just pennies. This homemade dormant oil mix uses 3% oil. For this mix, you start with 2 tablespoons of regular kitchen vegetable oil. Then add a couple of drops of gentle detergent, such as an olive oil-based soap or an eco-friendly washing up liquid. This small amount of soap or detergent helps the oil stay mixed with the water. Then you add one teaspoon of baking soda. The baking soda cuts down on fungal problems like powdery mildew. Finally, mix it all together with one litre or 34 fluid ounces of body temperature water. The warm water helps it mix together. You can see the liquid has gone milky, which means the oil has broken down into tiny droplets. And your dormant oil is now ready to use. But first, before you apply your dormant oil, you need to prepare your grapevine by pruning and removing old plant debris. To prune your grapevine, cut back your side shoots to leave two or three buds on each spur. Then, brush your grapevine with a stiff bristled brush. Peel away and remove the loose flaky outer bark of the grapevine, like this. This loose outer bark provides a winter hiding place and shelter for pests. Pests like the scale nymphs and grape blister mites. Collect this plant waste up, bag it and burn it, or dispose of it in council green waste. Your grapevine is now ready for the treatment of dormant oil. Give your dormant oil a shake to mix it before use. Then, depending on the size of your vine, to apply the oil you can use a knapsack sprayer, or an old spray bottle, or even use a brush to paint on the dormant oil. I used a mix of a brush and a small spray bottle. Thoroughly coat the stems with the dormant oil to the point that your mix is dripping off the plant. This way, you'll know that you've treated all the grapevines, nooks and crannies. So, as you've seen, it's not too much toil to apply your dormant oil. But, was it worth it? Time for the dormant oil reveal. Success. I monitored this grapevine carefully during the following year after treatment. The new grapevine shoots had fresh green healthy growth in the spring. 
there's no leaf burn I warned about earlier. Grapes grew and the leaves stayed healthy throughout the summer. I couldn't spot any sign of scale or blister mite. And by early autumn, the grapevine still had healthy leaves. There's no scale on mites visible, but there are beautiful ripening grapes. Although alas, sadly not enough grapes here to attempt any home brew. I'm an enthusiastic plant scientist in chilly Yorkshire, not a vigneron. But it's a healthy grapevine, so I'd say that's a dormant oil success. Wishing you healthy plants and happy gardening. <laughs>